Hello guys, do you all know what is Equilumb Ischemia? If no, no worries, let's learn. My name is Dr. Rashid and uh, I'm from Plap Guide Academy. Acute limb ischemia is a surgical condition. It is time critical, which means that any delay in the diagnosis and the management of the patient can result the patient to lose their limb and even life. So how to identify, how to approach such patients and how to manage such patients when they are critically unwell? It is very important that you follow A, B, C, D, E. I'm going to talk about how to identify and how to investigate as well as how to manage. If you're preparing for your OSCE exam, including PLAP2 or MRCS, this video is going to be very important for you. It is important that you identify acute limb ischemia on time. The major signs and symptoms that are um, associated with the acute limb ischemia are the pain, 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 and pain. The patient presents with a severe amount of pain. That is the major sign that should raise a suspicion. No, without any history of trauma, without any history of injury, if the patient presents with a sudden onset of pain in the leg, then it is very likely that the patient has acute limb ischemia. If the patient has a background history of atrial fibrillation, then it is extremely likely that the patient has acute limb ischemia. Now, how to approach such patients is just simply following A, B, C, D, E. Do not worry about the limb first. Acknowledge the patient's pain show sympathy empathy explain to the patient that it will take a few seconds for me to do a quick assessment and start following a b c d e talk to the patient if the patient is able to talk to you it means the patient has a patent airway start them on high flow oxygen then connect the patient to the monitor as well after that do a formal assessment on the chest do inspection, palpation, percussion, auscultation, check the respiratory rate of the patient. If the patient has a hypoxia in the beginning, it is important that you should also be thinking about the pulmonary embolism because any patient who can have a clot in the leg may also have a clot in the lungs. The patient may die from the pulmonary embolism if you do not act upon time. It is important after you complete your assessment of the breathing before you move to C, again talk to the patient, do the reassessment of the patient. And if the patient is still talking to you, the patient's oxygen saturation is normal, move forward to C. In the circulation, check the capillary refill time, check their pulses, all the peripheral pulses in all four limbs, check their blood pressure and the temperature and make sure that the patient is connected to the monitor there are five things that you need to look for in circulation in on the monitor that is a pulse rate heart rate ecg blood pressure and the temperature there are four things that you need to look on the patient four parameters capillary refill time pulse blood pressure and the temperature again in c it is important that you check all the peripheral pulses. If the patient has a peripheral pulse, the distal pulses, it means the proximal pulses are also present. So you do not need to worry about that. However, if there is any limb without any pulse, it means that you should carry on your assessment proximally till you find the pulse to establish the level of obstruction. It is important that you do immediate ultrasound, the Doppler ultrasound, which are widely available in every emergency department. And also check the sensations of the patient when you are touching the patient, when you are feeling the patient and if there is no pulse, ask the patient, can you feel me touch? Because after the pulse, the next thing that goes after the pulse is the sensation. If the patient has no sensation, check the power. If the patient has a sensation, then you do not need to worry about the power because the sequence of loss 
of the parameters are the patient in acute limb ischemia first of all lose their pulse then the sensations then the power if the patient has a pulse then the sensations are likely to be intact and the power is also going to be intact if the patient has no pulse but has sensations then you are not worried about the power if the patient does not have the sensation then you need to worry about the power because a dead limb needs chopping off and needs the amputation but the limb which is viable which has a sensations in the power both of them or any of them will need urgent vascular input so it is important that you arrange urgent ct angiogram which is a gold standard investigation for such patients especially if you are suspecting acute limb ischemia and you need to immediately start the patient on unfractionated heparin 5000 units iv bolus followed by 25000 units of infusion give the patient painkillers and do all the routine investigations plus group and save and at least four units of cross match because this patient may bleed if he needs a surgery however if you delay this input if you delay unfractionated heparin it is very likely that the clot will expand and the patient may die or the patient may lose the longer part of the limb instead of having the below knee amputation they may end up having below hip or amputation the entire limb is gone so it is important that you start the patient treatment immediately and make sure that you do not prescribe unfra uh, low malivet heparin you need to prescribe them unfractionated heparin stat followed by infusion so after you have done that before you move to d go back and reassess the patient by talking to the patient by looking on the monitor make sure that the patient is still stable and then continue your assessment and do avpu scale check at the pupils and check the glucose of the patient and check the drug history if there is any drug chart available look into that if there is no then try to find out more information about the patient the patient may be cardiac patient with the history of atrial fibrillation and is not taking warfarin or anticoagulant whichever they are prescribed for and after you've completed your d go back to a and reassess the patient and then you come to e in e you need to expose the patient fully to look for any signs that can raise a suspicion of injury or any inflammation it may be cellulitis and after we have done that make the final plan that should include giving the high flow oxygen iv fluids iv antibiotics if needed if there's any signs of infection otherwise you do not need to give iv antibiotics the patient needs the iv unfractionated heparin 5000 units stat followed by 25000 units of unfractionated heparin infusion over next 16 hours now we are talking about this surgical condition and you know that this patient may need the surgery and if he goes for surgery it is important that they are nail by mouth so make sure that you keep your patient nail by mouth because a continuous eating and drinking can delay the surgery as well so when you make any plan for any of your patient make sure that you categorize whether this patient is a surgical patient or the medical patient any surgical patient where you need any surgical input or even a review when you are suspecting any surgical condition make sure that you keep the patient nail by mouth until they are cleared by the surgeons so do not allow the patient to eat and drink because the patient may need the surgery emergency operation may be delayed if the patient continues eating and drinking all the surgical patients should be kept nail by mouth start them iv fluids start them iv pain control and any specific management as in case of acute limb ischemia now you can see this scenario 
uh, this is where a 67 year old gentleman is coming with the severe pain in the right leg and um, if this is a sudden onset severe pain it is important that you suspect the patient might have acute limb ischemia. Talking about the important points that you need to focus on that you should never forget in acute limb ischemia patients are starting them on high flow oxygen, doing the ABG, starting them on um, IV heparin infusion followed um, uh, preceded by the IV heparin injection, 5000 units stat all about the acute limb ischemia regardless wherever you see in the real life in your clinical exams keep those important points in your mind and i hope that you learned and you enjoyed keep watching the videos and give me your feedback thank you